let's take a quick tour of the Premiere Pro interface. So I'm on the editing layout. If your layout does not look like mine, uh, you can click on the editing tab at the very top. Uh, if it's still not a, like mine, if you go to the window workspaces, make sure editing is selected, but go down to the bottom where it says reset to saved layout. Once you click that, it will reset your layout to the default editing tab. So again, make sure you're on the editing tab. And the first window we're going to talk about is the project pane in the bottom left hand corner. The project pane is where we import and organize all of our assets that we're going to be using for our project. You can see I have five folders in my project pane. These are called bins in Premiere Pro. By default, Premiere uses an icon view for its project pane. I personally like the list view. In order to change from icon to list, go in the bottom left hand corner of the project pane and click the list view icon. I've organized my bins by shot type. So for instance, I have interviews, images, b-roll, music, etc. If I open up my b-roll bin, I've broken down even further. For instance, I can open up the home stretch b-roll. If I were to double click on any of these clips, it loads it up into the source pane. Now the source pane has a timeline of its own and it's basically used to pre-edit clips before you bring them down to the timeline. So for instance, if I click and drag this clip down, I can drop it down onto my timeline as a B-roll clip and I can scrub the playhead back and forth and I can see my clip that I just brought down. 